In this tutorial, I'll show you how to set up a photorealistic product render in less than 8 minutes. I'll post a link to this tutorial's 3D blend file and PBR images in the description below. This is the default scene of the 3D blend file. Let's add a light bouncing wall using a plane. Please select this edge and extrude it on the Z and the Y axes. Let's bevel these edges using Ctrl B and add more details with the mouse wheel. Let's remove these light meshes and add a new plane with an emission shader. Let's add the look dev render modes forest.exer HDRI map. I'll post a detailed guide on how you can find the forest.exer file in the description below. Let's lower the strength for now. Let's start with 8. Let's duplicate the light mesh, and move it to the right side. We need one more here. Let's look from the light mesh's view by pressing Ctrl and numpad 0. What's going on here? I noticed the camera looked weird as well. Let's go into the camera view instead, with numpad 0. Let's change the strength of the light. Bear in mind, all three lights are using an identical material. Let's set up the shading. We can remove the old materials. Please activate an add-on called Node Wrangler to use this feature. Let's press Ctrl, Shift and T together to open the PBR images. The displacement and bump setting is what we need.
Let's modify the normal and displacement settings. Let's subdivide this mesh with 100 cuts. Let's increase the light path setting like this. Let's use filmic and curves. I can't see the logo clearly, because our lights are too bright. Much better. Let's correct the resolution. This is the end of the photorealistic product render tutorial. Please like and subscribe if you have enjoyed watching this tutorial. Thank you for watching.